Hello, Technology Grazer here, and today I'll be teaching you how to speed up your internet. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about something called DNS, which is basically uh, stands for Domain Name, Name System, and it's what gives websites the name that you type into your web browser. Now, for example, when you go to Google.com, you're not actually going to Google.com. You're actually going to 74.125.224.72, which if you type that into your web browser, you'll actually get to Google. And that's the IP address of Google's server. Now, the problem is no one will ever remember that number to get to the website. So that's where domain name system comes in, DNS, which will basically give names to those numbers. Now, when you type in Google, your computer will actually send that Google.com to a DNS server, which will point it to the correct IP address. And then your computer can connect to that Google. Google server and download the information. Now this all happens really really fast but apparently not fast enough so today we're actually going to be hooking up to a separate DNS server that's even faster than your one you have right now and that will basically speed up how fast you get the IP address and how fast you can get to that website or the page so pages will load faster basically. Okay so step one is to find a really fast DNS server now in the description I'll have a whole bunch of DNS servers that are really fast but unfortunately it's different for where you live so that's where a program called Namebench comes in. Namebench is available on Mac and PC and basically it analyzes your network and finds the very fastest DNS servers for you. Now I have all the download links in the description of Namebench for Mac and Windows. Now Mac Mountain Lion doesn't work properly so I made a separate one for that and actually fixed it. Uh, so if you want to use the fixed version of Mountain Lion, otherwise it won't work. Uh, but just download that, run it, and it will take about 20 minutes. So it'll analyze your network, find the best DNS servers, and give you the top three. Now once you have the three DNS servers and you're on Mac, make sure you go to System Preferences, and press on uh, Network, and then press Advanced, and press DNS, and then press the Add symbol at the bottom left-hand corner, and you can add each one of the three DNS servers. Unfortunately, if you're using Windows 7, it will be a little bit harder. But basically, if you go to Network and Sharing Center, you can search that in Windows Search to get there really fast. Then click on Change Adapter Settings in the left-hand panel. This will bring up all the adapters that are present on your computer. Most people will choose Local Area Connection, but if you're using a laptop that uses wireless, right-click on wireless. So either right-click on Local or right-click on wireless, depending on what you're using. Then go to Properties. Then you're going to go and find Internet Protocol Version 4 and highlight that and then you're going to press on uh, properties and then here you can actually change the DNS servers and once you're done press OK and you're good to go. Anyways I guess that concludes this video now if you enjoyed it please share it with your friends I really appreciate it when you guys do last video you guys did a really great job I had like over 105 likes and no dislikes so that's like a new record by that like tripled my old record so good job there now if you want to learn how to speed up your Windows 7 please click on the link on your screen right now I did a video a long time ago doing it was, it was really cool, so go and click on it. Anyways, I guess that concludes this video. Uh, that's all from Technology Crazy.